Hey everyone, Marix here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one, we're going to be taking a look at Steve Austin. Stunning. So Austin is a new gen striker and he has hair, which is kind of crazy. Back from his WCW days when he still had hair. Uh, let's take a look at the card here. He has a couple links, the WCW link, any color moves start with one more move point, and the new gen, gems do 10% more damage. He has one gear, the stunning Steve Austin gear. Uh, he is a coach all the way at 18k. You'll take 30% less damage from purple moves, and he's a striker. So let's take a look at his move sets. Actually, let's look at his strap first. Uh, I'm going to have four move sets for you guys, a three-star two four stars and a five star technically it's three move sets with one having rare trainers and one having common trainers uh, i'm gonna have the all heart skill plate on here when you generate three or more submission gems increase your green gem damage by 100 percent for two turns it also does the same for your purple a lot of people may not be familiar with this one it comes in, it comes in pretty handy for this first build set we're gonna run it actually makes it so you can hit pretty hard um, double fury the rest of the way so about 60% um, gem damage. Here where it says 167, it's just showing the possibility with the plate. So those are 75% green, 67% purple. Um, so don't be alarmed. I wish I had I could boost gem damage that much base. And then we are going to have the percentage purple move metal for a move set you're going to see at the end. It won't really help this one at all. Uh, but that's tier 4, and that'll be hanging out for the preview. So first move set. We're going to be running the Stun Gun 10 MP Finisher. This is available at 3 star. Deal 135k damage and choose 8 gems to make into green gems and pin the opponent. That's a wrap. 7 MP green uh, submission. Place 8 submission gems and do 31k damage for 4 turns. Remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength 3. And then the Eye Poke. Deal 65k damage and choose 2 gems to make into 2 turn Juggernaut gems. That will increase your green gem damage by 100% for 2 turns on every countdown turn. And increase your black MP by 8 at the end of the countdown. This fills the black move. Um at the end and when you choose those greens they should be massive that's the idea behind this uh, so here's your entourage steel for green mp uh, hardy for a two times two on the mp lazy for green gem damage and champa for negative two depending on the situation i may not use champa um, if i want to drain their life a little bit like in feud i would probably use someone else like uh, scott hall for an extra green gem for example but for this um, let's take a look. We're going to go against Ivar on the road here. Five-star gold versus five-star gold. I do have tour perks, uh, plus three MP and plus two on a match. So those are active. So this is really fun. You're going to put the um, Juggernaut gem down. I would recommend on loot boxes, unless there's a row break around them. And then we're going to hit the sub and basically we want the gems to stay there we're gonna turn them green uh eventually so you could potentially put them on green but you want to keep them away from potential matches or things the ai might uh match uh so corners are usually good and then you know you do what you can um beyond that you can't always predict how the board's gonna fall so this will drain them like i said in feud if they're a turn one uh card you're against I definitely wouldn't do this. Also in Feud, potentially, you may not be able to use Matt Hardy. Depending on your line bonus, though, you may be able to. Um, and then, of course, you are going to need one more swipe to get there. And then it's going to hit very hard because we've buffed the gems now. And we have the sub working for us. This turn is going to fill it up. And you're going to see these multiply gems... That's 347,000 apiece. The time is five on the green. Uh, so we're just going to hit the finisher and try and connect the dots on every one of these to green, if possible. Three, we can do maybe like that and like that. Actually, let's do one, two, three, four. That's four. Row break will hit that green. That'll get those. That'll get the Ah, we can get them all. And you're going to see just how hard this hits. That's a 3 million damage pin right there. 
So I could see this being useful in a lot of scenarios, right? I mean, that's it's super hard. Uh, so very cool. Uh, all heart plate is is awesome with that. Obviously, it has no issues recycling if someone managed to live from that. Let's take a look at the next move set. This one's available at five star. This can hit really hard uh, with some board luck. Uh, on turn one, but you do need a lot of board luck on turn one. Um, otherwise, you can set up for a pretty big uh, uh, turn two and things like that. So let's get it on there, see what it looks like. Oh, that first one, besides the L heart, you could also use one of the match three gems um, right here. This one, the DX Army Assault, match three green, get uh, put black on the board, can help you kick out if you need it, get more blacks on the board, etc. I don't know. I would just use the, the all heart, though, for that build for sure. So this one, we're going to bring in um, the finisher, which we have, and then the five-star move, the stunning DDT. Now this Basically, I ran this because uh, it, it lets me show off all the moves. Um, and I don't know, I may run it twice because this should be a fast preview um, to see if I can get the board to cooperate to show you how you can get it turn one. Um, it is difficult though. So stunning DDT, 9 MP green, deal 100k damage and make all green gems into multiply gems of strength 5. Those are beefy boys. And the running knee lift, uh, deal 81k damage and choose a 4x1 area to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into black gems, 6 MP purple. So we're actually going to start with that one loaded, uh, the Snowfall Gem, and we need a horizontal match on the gem board, um, preferably towards the top. Now, to get this turn one, it has to be in the top two rows, otherwise we're looking at turn two. Um, the rest of the trainers, coaches are going to say the same, except for Champa. We are going to replace with... Um, move generate gem damage uh, with veteran Cena for more green gem damage okay let's take a look at this one there's a few different ways you can do damage depending on how the board lays out for you uh, this one cheap shot or uh, eternal positivity is what I would run on this one try and reload this purple move so uh, we do have exactly what I'm looking for to potentially be turn one. The first part of it is a vertical match on the top, so that is very fortuitous. The second part is not cascading when we swipe this. If we don't cascade here, we did. So if you don't cascade, those would have been uh, loaded and we would have been good to go, right? But we did cascade, um, so... We'll have to wait for next turn. But that would be how you'd go turn one with this. Most of the time, you're going to be turn two. Now we are going to make all of the gems that are green times seven. And because the finisher makes them into green, the snowfalls, um, that's why I have Cena on there, because he's not super rare. If you had Edge, you could throw Edge on, because you can also... Um, we're going to put the snowfalls on top, obviously, right? These ones. And turn everything beneath it to black gems. But we are, with the finisher, turning gems green. So the ones we can't get, we can make that column into green gems. So row break there. We can, uh, obviously, we have this option. And we could do that. And that's going to be black. So let's just do, let's just do that. Should get, I think, hold on. Aha. We would have missed that one. Green, green. There we go. That should get all of them. Except I still missed one. But anyway, you get the point. I'll try it again in, uh, another time. That's 1.3 million. Uh, it's not bad. You can get it turn one. Uh, 1.3 million is a pretty big hit. Um, and like I said, you could go Edge instead of Cena there. If you have double black uh, gem damage trainers, you could run them too. Um, and this is pretty decent. 
Uh, there's an easier setup that can hit pretty much just as hard coming up. But I'll run this one one more time and see if we get the board to cooperate or uh, show you what happens when the board doesn't cooperate at all. Because um, I don't cherry pick matches, so I'm just going to play a couple real quick for you guys. I do really like Austin. Uh, that, that green moveset at the start is something else. And then there are some other options. So this for sure won't work if we match this because we're going to cause a cascade right there. Um, and the yellows won't work this way. So definitely can't make that work. So uh, here's let's show you what happens if the board doesn't cooperate. And you're looking at um, a less good one where you have a vertical match down low like this. Or horizontal, rather. So we'll just do it this way and fill our black that way. Uh, skip turn strap, if you could get one, I think would be quite good for him. Uh, just like it is for Afa. Very similar vibes to Afa with this moveset. Um, so now we're going to have to do it a little bit differently than the first time when we had all of those snowfall gems. So this time we're more interested in the greens than the snowfalls. So here edge would not help you nearly as much, right? And there's still some. we can get most of them it should still be a pretty decent shot here yeah 1.1 million so that's if you have it lower down on the board turn one he, ooh, he's gonna kick out but we did recycle but that's pretty good you get the idea how you can be turn one and then you also see what happens when it's lower on the board for turn two so that worked out pretty well. And this should um, pretty much do it, I would think. We don't have a ton of green on the board, um, but I think it'll probably be enough. And we'll make this one a row break. We didn't recycle this time either, and he's going to kick out. So we may actually get into some trouble here, which is why you would want the eternal positivity, because then our snowfall gem would have been full. And that is definitely the plate I would go primarily in this one. I'm going to try and save those purples. So we can get back rolling here. There we go. Ivar's gonna do Ivar flippy stuff. All right. And we're going to get a chance to play now. Going to reset up that vertical match there. Or again, horizontal match, not vertical. And let's see if we can not cascade this time, because this would be the same principle. Pin bar starting right in the middle. And we cascade it again. It is hard to get it turn one. So there is that. And you definitely can run into trouble without an eternal positivity. Do, 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 do. Either the first moveset or the last one is my favorite. The first one is really fun because of how hard you can hit, right? Um, and the last one is beautiful in its speed and simplicity. Okay. So let's get this done here. We're going to set up underneath those.
Here we go. Big boom. Okie dokie. There's no way I ever is going to kick out of that. So the first one we're going to see is going to be running um, with no rare trainers. In place of the defense guys, you could use also use MP down guys in feud. Um, this one should recycle no problem if you need it to, although I think often you're not going to need it to. And also um, a couple callouts. Dude Love at 9k is amazing for this build set because feud, you can run into gem degeneration perks. Some people found out with Lashley. Um, so Dude Love is plus one on your charge there, and he's going to make a big difference there. Uh, let's get those moves in, though. We're going to bring the knee drop in. Both 6 MP purples. And we are going to go with the pile driver. Should we need to recycle, that will get us back to purple. Again, you could run uh, Eternal Positivity for this build set for recycling. Cheap shot for the initial shot to keep them down. And I should probably talk about the moves. The pile driver, 8 MP black, deal 85k damage, choose 6 gems to make into purple gems. And then the knee drop, 6 MP purple. Actually, we've seen that one. No, we haven't. Uh, deal 79k damage and makes 4 snowfall gems into black gems. That'll cover all the moves. And we're going to put Dude Love in here for black gem damage. Right here. And generating one more, which will help in feud. And then we're going to go, like I said, with the gem defense guys for this one. And then we'll replay it with more rare guys. In fact, black um, gem damage and just see how hard he can hit on turn one with six charge MP moves. It's pretty good. So I'm a big fan of this build set. All right, here we go. I guess I'll heal. And again, eternal positivity, uh, just make things a little bit easier or cheap shot. Obviously, um, this being a Merrick's preview, you know, I'm going to love cheap shot. And if I get him, um, ideally, uh, this set, I would for sure run with cheap shot. So if I have a skip strap for him, I think that sub stuff would be really fun um, just to hit that hard. But anyway, I digress. This is really straightforward. You're making all the gems black. So we're going to put it here so we can connect with these three. Uh, actually, four and four. We get four extra though doing it this way, so let's do that. And this will fill our black move up, obviously. So if we had Eternal Positivity, we would also have the purple almost filled in case we need to recycle. And that's going to hit for 932,000. And Ivar can't kick out. If we had Eternal Positivity, uh, we could make a uh, three match and fill it up and do it all over again. Um, and be less risky for the Cascade. You don't really need it to recycle. Um, it just could make it potentially less risky. Uh, not that I think that's going to be an issue, because I don't honestly think you'll be recycling a ton, especially once you factor in extra gem damage trainers, which we're going to see right here. This is the big boy build. A lot of fun um, and really fast. So while the first one can hit super hard and is fun that way, um, this one, you're just going to blow them up with black gem damage. Uh, obviously, you could use Boogeyman as well if you had Boogeyman. I don't. And Edge would be really good um, as well. Alternatively, you could also put Bree here, and then your perks being nerfed uh, in Feud wouldn't matter at all, uh, because you'd be getting two extra uh, from Dude Love and, and Bree combined, so you'd still be making four. So that's worth noting as well, Hall of Fame Bree there. But let us see how hard we can hit here. It should be very significant. Probably in the 1.2 million range to 1.4, depending on Cascades. And how the board sets up for connecting some extra black gems. Um, so, like, we can go here and get two, three extra. Three extra here. It looks like three is what we're going to get. So we'll just go in the middle. More likely to get an extra Cascade. 
And I'm sure this will do it unless he gets a massive kick out. No cascade at all there. Uh, we did hit for a million plus, and he is probably going to kick out. So we'll get to see about the recycle. And we only need six, so two, three matches will easily do it. Also, I mean, like, uh, if you really wanted to, if there was, like, a line bonus and you, for some reason, wanted to um, take advantage of that and use Bray, uh, if there was a good enough line bonus, you could potentially start with Bray and do the chooses to fill the purples and get a little more damage down. Um, not that he's really going to need it too much. You can see he recycles quite easily, though. Um, we're going to want to do this and get four extra black gems. So there you go. Um, assuming he doesn't kick out here. That is Stunning Steve Austin. Very good card with some options. Uh, similar to Offa, a little lower charge without the gem buff. Um, so you can hit turn one and then hit again turn two. Um, and then other than that, he has that sub build with the all heart plate that can just get ginormous, uh, which I think will be a lot of fun to mess with. Um, so I'd love to get him. I think he's certainly a top tier striker. Uh, new gen era helps load that out. Uh, all around a good um, good card to bring to the game. Very strong without breaking the game and fills in some really nice slots in the new gen era. So I, I would love to get this card. Plus it's Austin. Uh, so that's cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this preview. Remember to like it and subscribe and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.